So normal blood pressure is measured as less than 120 for the top number, the systolic pressure, and lower than 80 for the lower number, the diastolic pressure. Blood pressure is categorized in five different categories. The first, as mentioned, was normal, so less than 120 over 80. And then the next category is elevated. After that, it's high blood pressure, stage one, and then stage two, and then hypertensive crisis, when it is higher than 180 for systolic and higher than 120 for diastolic. You can have your blood pressure measured by a healthcare team member at a doctor's office. You can also go to a pharmacy that has digital blood pressure measuring machines, or you can purchase a blood pressure monitor and use one at home. Before your reading, nervousness can affect your reading and cause it to be higher. Also, what you ate, drank, or did before your reading, such as uh, smoking or drinking alcohol or caffeine uh, within 30 minutes before your reading can affect how high or low your blood pressure is, and then also how you're sitting. You wanna make sure that your legs are not crossed and your arm is rested on a table around chest height. Don't smoke, exercise, drink caffeinated beverages or alcohol within 30 minutes of measurement. Rest in a chair for at least five minutes. Sit calmly and don't talk. Make sure you're, you're relaxed. Sit still in a chair with your feet flat on the floor with your back straight and supported. Take at least two readings, one minute apart in the morning before taking medications and again in the evening before dinner and record all your results. Use properly calibrated and a validated instrument. Check the cuff size and fit and place the bottom of the cuff above the bend of the elbow. To help lowering your blood pressure, try eating a balanced diet of whole grains like oatmeal, fruits, and then also including vegetables like spinach, broccoli, and sources of protein such as eggs, peanut butter, and chia seeds. Another important way to lower your blood pressure is through restricting your sodium intake and consuming alcohol in moderation. This means no more than two drinks per day for men and one drink per day for women. One last way to help improve your blood pressure is to be physically active. You can take walks for 30 minutes a day or do exercises such as jumping jacks and push-ups. There are a few risk factors associated with high blood pressure. One big one is stroke. High blood pressure can cause blood vessels in the brain to burst or clog more easily. So it's really important to lower your blood pressure if possible. Some other side effects are heart failure. It can cause the heart to enlarge and a failed blood supply to occur throughout the whole body. Another one is sexual dysfunction. It can cause erectile dysfunction in men and lower libido in women. It can also lead to vision loss, heart attack, and even kidney disease or kidney failure.